Today, I want to talk to you about the customer always being right. So this is kind of a controversial thing. And I think and sometimes that uh, photographers honestly miss the point. Um, I see this a lot in uh, photography groups where people will complain about a, photo a customer or something and they didn't like their photos or whatever and they don't want to refund them or they don't want to replace their photos and blah, 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 blah. Now, that doesn't mean that there's some c customers out there that are are like going to be difficult and that are going to be trying um, and they might be wrong, but you are creating a high end brand and you want to give the best service possible that you can possibly ever imagine for your clients in their, uh, what in their photos. So if, for example, we had somebody the other day that got their album and they got it and it was uh, damaged on the front and, um, we just have it in the pricing of our stuff that every now and then something like that's going to happen. So you have a little bit of a buffer, right? Um, now that's a damage thing. Sometimes they get things and it's just like, Hey, I don't like the way they, um, we have better example. We had somebody that got a collage the other day and the way that the framing of a couple of the photos inside of the frame of the, the collage was a little off for what they had preferred or what they thought they were going to get. We asked them to send us a picture and show us what they were wanting, uh, what they were saying and what they were meaning. I totally understood where they were, were what their argument was. But a lot of people would say, I, it looks fine. Like, what's the big deal, right? But think about it this way. If I didn't fix that problem that that client had, and with that, I mean, it was just one photo in one frame. Basically what it was is there was two dogs. One's head was this big in the picture and the other head was this big in the other picture and it didn't really match up. And she wanted them to be similar in the frame and in, in, the, uh, in their little squares, right? And so we fixed it, right? Because here's the thing. Would you rather have a client with something that they're not happy with, that, that they're displaying in their home, and every time they look at it, their, their, their experience or their thought about your photography business is that, I, like, yeah, it's great, but they didn't fix this thing, and, and, it's, and, and now it's a bad experience. So whenever somebody comes to their home, and and says, wow, that's beautiful. They're going to point out the flaws instead of agree and say, yes, that's beautiful. This photography studio did my photos and you should go get it done too. Because they were, their customer service was amazing too. Like we got the the print and there was a little flaw on it and stuff that, like on how it was composed. And we told them and they replaced it for us, no extra charge. And they were happy to do it and blah, blah, blah. Would you rather a customer brag about you like that? Or would you rather a customer be like, yeah, I, I paid $3,000 for this piece of wall art, but I'm not happy with it. Cause like, look at this photo that's right there. It doesn't match the other one. And I tried to get them to change it and they wouldn't do it. And it's just like, that's a totally different experience. So how do you want your customers to look at you and your business? Do you want to fight them for every little dime and nickel that you're doing? If that's the case and you're so worried about nickel and diming clients, then maybe you need to restructure and look at your pricing. If you're only doing one or two sessions a month and because you're only doing one or two sessions a month, when something like that happens, it's putting you in financial binds then maybe you need to restructure and rethink how you are doing business. There's nothing wrong with going on to a uh, photographer blog and, and airing out your grievances, so to speak, about a client and everything. But before you do, the next time before you do, think about the client if you are the client and you are going through the exact same situation. Would you want somebody to help you with that situation and have a great experience at the end of the day? Or would you want somebody to put up a wall, put up a front and say, no, we're right. You're wrong. <laughs> we're smart. You're dumb. I mean, whatever that is and give that experience like that, that is your 
thought and your experience of what's going on. So think about that the next time or in the future, if you haven't had this happen, because it's bound to happen if you're doing business, think about it in the future for when somebody comes to you with a complaint, listen to their complaint, hear their complaint, empathize with their complaint and have a resolution for their complaint.